What's up everyone, my name is Frank, hope you having a great day today. Get ready for a fun video. The company Extreme Rate recently reached out to me. They are a wholesaler for gaming console parts and accessories ranging from different color face plates, back plates, analog sticks, buttons. They have LED kits, they have stands, you name it. They have it on their website. So shout out to Extreme Rate for hooking me up with a bunch of goodies. I got stuff over here. I've got more parts on the desk in front of me. There's plenty to show off. I'm very excited. But the main goal and focus of today's video is showing you how to install and use the LED light up kit for the PlayStation 4 controller. And I'm also going to be showing you how to change the front and back plate of the controller. So if you are all ready for this video, make sure to smash that like button because we are about to turn this ordinary red PlayStation 4 controller into something very cool. As always, I will leave timestamps down below in the description so y'all can skip to whichever part of the video that you want to see first. If you are looking to purchase any of the Extreme Rate products, head on over to the GamingCobra.com website and use code SPARA at checkout to save 10% off your purchase. And just a friendly reminder, I do stream every Saturday and Sunday starting at 1 p.m. Eastern time, so do not miss out on the fun streams. If you're enjoying this video so far make sure to smash that like button subscribe and press that bell to be notified for future videos before we dive into things there are a few important things to note this led light up kit is a diy kit do it yourself so you will need to take apart the playstation 4 controller but not to worry the kit comes with the required tools and i will break everything down into a step-by-step -step process which is easy to follow also to note this kit is for the PlayStation 4 V2 controller with the light bar in the touch by this is the latest PlayStation 4 controller and I'll link the serial number of the recommended controller up on screen for you guys also to note this kit will allow us to change the lighting of seven different zones on the PlayStation 4 controller I am very very excited to show this out for you guys I cannot wait guys take a deep breath relax Follow along with me in this video and let's get to having some fun. Let's get to unboxing. We'll start off with the LED kit. Go ahead, open this up. So first up, we have the warranty card. Place that to the side. Next up in the box, we have the user manual. Next, we have additional screws and springs just in case we do lose or strip them. Up next, we have the LED panel, which we will be installing. And down at the bottom of the box are the tools that come with the kit along with the buttons that we will be swapping out. I love how they're packaged. They're actually nice and snug in there. They're not going to get damaged or not going to get loose while in transport. Next up, I'll show you how the shells are packaged. They do come bubble wrapped, which you know they're not going to get damaged or scratched during transport, well protected. And then down at the bottom of the box, screwdriver additional screws to help with installation so overall the extreme rate products come well packaged you don't have to worry about them ever getting scratched or damaged during transport let's get to taking apart the controller as you can see i've already gone ahead and laid everything out left hand side we have the shells that we will be swapping out front and center we have the controller along with the parts that we will be swapping out then on the right hand side we have the led kit along with the tools that we will be using so guys setup is extremely important allows us to keep a clean workspace and work efficiently so we will start off by grabbing our screwdriver and taking apart the playstation 4 controller by unscrewing the four screws on the back of the controller only issue that i have with this screwdriver is that it's relatively small there's not much to grip onto so if you are struggling just make sure to press down hard and slowly unscrew Take your time with this. You don't want to strip any of the screws. Now that we have all four screws taken out, it's time to actually separate the two shells, the front shell from the back shell. So the easiest way that I find, just grab the corner of the controller and just slowly press back just like that. You'll hear a little pop. I'll do the same on the other side. So just like that. And now what we'll do is we are going to use our orange tool and just take your time and slowly go around the controller as I'm doing right now. There we go. Now that we have the two shells separated, slowly gonna pull apart. There we go. You don't want to pull too hard. 
because they are connected with a wire. So what we are going to do is we're just gonna pull out this wire that's right there. It's a simple pull up just like that. And we have our two shells separated. We are gonna work on the back shell. So let's gain some confidence and I'll show you how to swap out these components right here. So what we will start off by doing is unclipping the plastic stopper. We are slowly gonna pry off the plastic plate just two way taped on. So no worries, give it a bit of a pull just like that. We'll have that to the side and this glass window will just pop out like so. We will have to unscrew the screw to remove the charging port. Now that the screw is off, I'm just gonna use my orange tool just to pry it up and out. It is two-way taped on, so don't worry about using some pressure. Just get it to pop off and then the tape will come off like so. Now what we're gonna take is the charging port that came with the kit right here and we're gonna install, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my new shell, put this to the side, I use this shell right here, but before I actually go ahead and install the new charging port, I'm going to connect the black band that comes with the kit. The white lines should be facing you, the charge port facing like this, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slowly slide it in to the connector. Feel it's gonna slide into place via a firm click, and then there's gonna be a black stopper right there. I'm just gonna push down just to clip it into place and secure it. Now that the black band is on, we're gonna go ahead and install the charge port. It's a nice snug fit. We're just gonna have to put back that screw that we removed before. Now that that is secure, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our little window, push that into place. You'll feel it click in. And don't forget, we have that plastic plate cover. We'll go ahead, pop that back in. That's gonna clip into place. And I'm gonna take our plastic stopper it's gonna clip in just like that and you're just gonna slide it down into place it will click in perfect just like that we have finalized the back shell we'll set this to the side first thing that we have to do is take apart the battery it's actually very easy just clip in place right on the side right there so try not to pull on the wires go with your fingers and Grab the plastic clip that's actually plugged in. Grab that and just slowly wiggle it out. It'll come out. And the battery is actually two-way taped onto the battery plate. So just give it a nice pull. Next up, we're gonna have to unscrew the battery plate. Battery plate's gonna come off like so. Next up, we are going to have to unplug this wire right there it's actually for a touchpad you'll see a little notch right there what i like to do is just grab where that notch is and just slowly wiggle out just like so try not to apply a lot of pressure it will slowly slide out now that we have that unclipped we can actually separate the middle section from the top half of the controller it's going to pop this off and slowly wiggle it out and just like that we have the middle section separated let's start working on the front shell what we are going to do is start off by peeling off the rubbers and we will have to remove the touch pad as well so this is actually pretty easy to remove just give it a push from the back you'll swing around and just like that we have that removed so we will have to remove this plastic piece that is on the touch pad it's actually pretty easy to remove there's two clips on either side one right there and one right there i'm gonna pinch like so 
Now I'm slowly gonna wiggle that out and we're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna take the one that came in the LED kit. So do the reverse. Make sure that the wire slides through that hole, which is right there. This will click into place just like that. So our touchpad is ready to go. What you guys are gonna do is you are gonna go ahead and replace the buttons, the D-pad, and also the PS button. But since I have a new shell, I'm gonna go ahead and take my new shell and start putting in the components. We'll start off with the PS button. This is just going to slide into place like that. I'm gonna go ahead with the D-pad, that square, triangle, circle, cross, just like that. Perfect. We are gonna take our rubbers and connect them back on. So you're gonna notice there's four little pins, which the rubber gasket is going to sink onto so take your time with this make sure everything is properly installed because this rubber pad is actually what makes contact with the motherboard so when you press triangle square cross let's say it's this black patch right here that's communicating with the motherboard of the controller so make sure these rubbers are on properly I'll do the same with the PS button. And lastly, we will do the D-pad. That is looking awesome. So I'll go ahead and I'll put back the touchpad. So this is actually pretty easy to put back. There's a little bar here. Basically gonna have the wire sit on that bar and then touchpad is just gonna wrap around and slide into place. I just went ahead and organized the table again. Coming up, we will have to take apart the thumbsticks, bumpers, and triggers. It's actually very easy to do. The thumbsticks will just slide out. So grab hold of the motor and slowly pull up on the thumbstick. What we will start off by doing is just pressing down one of the triggers. And as you can see here, hopefully the camera will pick that up for you guys. There's just a little place where the trigger connects to. So I'm gonna take my nail, put it in there and just slowly unclip it. So just like that. And then the other side, it'll be pretty easy. We'll do the same thing. And there we go. We have the trigger out to remove the bumper. What we are going to do, I'm gonna orientate this so you can see. I'm gonna press it down. There is a little hook right there. I'm just gonna pull down just to get the hook around and up and over the clip. Do the same on the other side. And with this guys, just take your time slowly slowly the bumper will come off i'm going to do the same on the other side we will have to remove the rubbers next so go ahead just pull that off like so now that we have those off we will just need to unclip the motherboard from the plastic housing you're going to see on the side here there's one little tab and then another little tab right there. So what I like to do just pull it back just slightly. Motherboard will pop up and do the same on the other side. Motherboard's gonna pop off just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our LED panel because it's time to install this. So with it facing the upwards direction, as you can see there's the white dotted lines it should be facing you just like this you're gonna go ahead just make a nice fold on that white dotted line don't press too hard just a fold like that so just makes a 90 degree angle I'll do the same one over here on this tab and we are actually gonna go ahead and install the panel onto the controller so in order to do that it's actually pretty easy so 
Don't get nervous or panic. I'm gonna do step by step. This tab right here is actually gonna slide into there. So basically, we're gonna follow the same layout that's on the controller right now. Slowly going to slide that into place. And you're gonna see it pops around the back. Now, if you want, what you can do is just bring it all the way around, have it clip onto the plastic pegs like so. We will clip the motherboard back into place. And you hear a nice little click. There we go. That is done. And we're going to continue putting the LED panel onto the controller. So coming up next, we're going to slowly guide in the panel that goes around the bumpers and triggers. So just slowly, slowly guide it in place. Now this requires minimal force, so you shouldn't be pulling excessively hard, just enough just to guide it into place. Be careful because everything is fragile. You can apply some force, but not too much force. We'll keep working around. Slowly bring this down. And you're going to see in a few sections, there's these rubber pegs that pop out. Just press the LED panel onto it. It's actually going to make it clip into place. It's going to secure itself on. There we go. We are going to tackle the thumbsticks next. There is two-way tape on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly run the wires around. Just up and out of the way. Because keep in mind, there's still the front shell that has to clip onto this. So as long as the wires are neatly tucked away and ran properly, you don't have to worry about them getting in the way or interfering or actually getting pinched with the front shell. So I actually like that placement right there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing to expose the two-way tape. And I'm going to go ahead and put it and secure it onto the left thumbstick. Now that I have the thumbstick wires running just the way I like, there's one last step that we have to do with this panel is actually getting some two-way tape. And there's two-way taping this to the side of the controller like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now that I have this two-way taped on, what we are going to do next, put on the new component. So we'll start off by putting on the new thumbsticks. So these go in one way. Just align it up. Slowly push down. Just check, make sure that there's no interference. The wires aren't getting pinched or caught anywhere. With this I'm not too happy with. I'm gonna try to just tuck that down and more onto the side of the controller, just like that. There we go, I'm happy with that. And we are gonna put back those rubber stoppers. These are very, very important. These go in one way, so make sure to align it up like so. And if ever you guys get confused, you're not too sure which way they go on, the little rubber pegs, it's gonna seat into the plastic holes that are right there. And the one that has just a little tab up, up at the top will go in like that. Perfect, now that the rubber seals are back in place, we're actually going to install the new bumpers and triggers. There's a little plastic hook right there. And then the L2 will be shaped like this, so gonna hook around like so and slowly gonna slide into place I'm gonna clip back in 
perfect. We're going to grab our L1 now. This will be orientated like so. Keep in mind, this only goes in one way. Push that back in just to, to test. That feels good. Awesome. I'm going to do the same with the right bumper and trigger. Perfect. Feel that. Awesome. Both feel good. Thumbsticks feel good also. Now it is time to reassemble everything. So we'll take our front shell. Pop this like this. Now the touchpad wire is going to have to go through that hole right there. So take your time. Slowly align everything up. Slowly going to slide this in make sure that the wires for the thumbsticks do not get caught make sure that everything slowly slides into place we're gonna go ahead and reattach the cable for the touchpad and you'll see that white line butts up with the connector and that's how you know you're fully in place Awesome. We're going to go ahead. We are going to grab the battery plate and put this back into position. I think I have it upside down. So if you guys are afraid of over tightening or stripping the head of the screw, just slowly guide it in, apply some firm pressure. And just when it can turn no more, that's when you know when to stop. Don't force it more than that. Stop and just check battery plate is firm and snug in place. What I'm going to do gonna go ahead I'm gonna grab the battery double-sided tape should still be on there perfect so I went ahead I cleared off the table because this part is very very important we don't need any additional distractions around you guys are gonna follow me very carefully because the way you connect and place these wires are very very important and crucial what we will start off by doing just placing this to the side like so we're going to start off with the thinner, the smaller of the black cable. So I'm going to take this guy right here and this is going to connect into the side port that we double sided tape to the side of the controller. And when you are connecting it, the writing, the white writing, which is right at the tip is facing the inside of the controller. So facing us will be all black. Just to show you there is a little black latch right there it's gonna pop away just unlocking the port bring it up just a bit perfect so that unlocks the port port I'm gonna slide in and use my orange tool just to put that latch back up secure it into place get up close for you guys to so show you what it will look like just like that so the white writing is facing the inside of the controller now we're going to take the thicker of the black cables and this is where the white writing is going to face the outside of the controller or facing towards us so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna pinch i'm gonna grab and i'm gonna place it into this connector port right here that will just slide down into place next we are going to take the left wire and this is where we're going to connect it onto the motherboard of the controller last but not least we are going to plug in batteries so we're going to power up the led panel He's only going one way, so make sure you have the right orientation. Okay, stuff is starting to light up right now. Oh my god. Okay, just light just disappeared. Okay. I just make sure everything is connected correctly. We are going to tuck away the wires in a position where they're not gonna get caught on anything. So take your time with this. There's no need to rush gonna work my way around the controllers to make sure that 
nothing's getting tangled or pinched. The last thing I want is for a controller to short circuit. The cover for the light bar right there sticking out is gonna slide into that slot right there. So actually guide that in first. Slowly close, there we go, I like that. All right, so just like that, two shells are clipped back into place. The last thing we have to do is just screw back the four screws just to secure and tighten everything into place. There we go, last screw on. Let's check this out. Wow, I am very, very impressed with the color of this controller. Shout out to Extreme Ray. They are the ones who chose this color shell for me. I am blown, blown away. Uh, no visible gaps around. We did add uh, quite a bit of wiring on the inside. Everything looks uh, clean, it looks stock. There's no big visible gaps. Everything is nice and tight, it feels good. Finally, time for the part that everyone has been waiting for, turning the controller on for the first time. I'm very, very excited for this. It works like any other PlayStation 4 controller. You know, press the PS button and oh my God, it lights up right away. This is freaking cool. Look at that. Wow, the color's actually bright and vibrant. I It's daytime right now. I could just imagine at night what this controller will look like. We are gonna get to uh, the next part of the video, which is actually the tutorial showing you guys how to change the colors of each of the seven sections and also turning off the LED lights if you don't want to game with them on. In order to change the LED colors of each of the seven sub sections, it's actually pretty easy and straightforward to do. We're gonna start off by pressing and holding L1 and square for a total of five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that. And once it enters that sum mode, the first section will start to flash. I'm gonna release. So my D-pad is flashing. That's our first subsection. It's waiting for our input when it's flashing. In order to change the LED color, I'm just gonna simply press right D-pad one time, and it's going to switch over to the next color. And then we'll just keep rotating through colors by pressing once on the right D-pad. So I'm going to keep scrolling. There's a total of 10 colors to choose from. So have fun with it. And if you want to save and move on to the next subsection, you're going to press and hold L1 and square for one second and release. Once release, next subsection gets highlighted. It's waiting for input again to change it. Press once right D-pad and it'll change the color right away. You have a total of seven subsections. So D-pad is subsection number one. The left analog stick is section number two. The PS button is section number three. Right stick is section number four. The buttons over here are section number five. The bumpers and triggers on the right side, section number six. And then the left bumpers and triggers are section number seven. Once you are satisfied with the colors that you have chosen, in order to save everything and get out of this sub mode, we're gonna press and hold L1 and square for a total of five seconds. The subsection will stop blinking, you could release, and that's how we save our selections that we have made. Now let's say if you don't want a game with the LEDs on, you want to completely shut them off. Well, there's actually two different ways that we could do it. We could enter the menu where we change the LED color. There's actually an option, which is the 10th option to have it colorless, which is the LED off. But I have a quicker way for you guys in order to shut all of the LEDs off all at once. You're gonna press and hold L1 right D-pad square for a total of 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, all of the LEDs will turn off. So you're gonna release, LEDs are shut off. The controller is still on, still usable. And if you want to turn back the lights, you're just gonna repeat those steps. L1, right D-pad, square all at the same time for another 10 seconds to turn back on the LEDs. The longer I look at this controller, the more impressed and happy I am about not only the quality of product, but of the end result. We achieved this on our own. We put this whole controller together ourselves. I'm extremely blown away about how it turned out. Installing and swapping out the shell is actually pretty easy, straightforward to do. The LED kit installation is also very easy, straightforward 
process definitely very tedious and lengthy but as long as you're taking your time being careful and you follow all of my steps you should have end results as amazing as i have right here i'm extremely happy and blown away extreme rate you guys have some top notch products and if you guys are thinking about purchasing the led kit or the replacement shells or different color thumbsticks or buttons or any of the extreme rate products for that matter head on over to the gamingcobra.com website and make sure to use code SPARA at checkout to save 10% off of your purchase. If you have any questions about installing the LED kit or anything that I spoke about in today's video, feel free to leave me a comment down below or hit me up on social media. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Again, huge shout out to Extreme Ray for hooking me up with the amazing products. If you all enjoyed watching this video, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below and share with your friends, greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, check me out for the very first time. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my content and don't forget to press that bell to become part of my notification squad. You guys are wicked awesome. Everyone have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this video and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.